seems like we've been talking about this fight for a long time, the possibility of it happening. Now that it's here, certainly you're no stranger to big fights, but does it feel special to you? Absolutely, you know, I mean, I was supposed to fight Gegard Mousasi, and whilst I was excited, fighting in London, very excited, it was just another, in a long list of opponents. It was just another name, another fight. Dana called, offered it Anderson Silva, and of course, it changes everything. You know, this is a huge fight, biggest fight of my career. I'm returning to London, my first fight in the UK, sorry, in England for five, six years against, you know, the greatest of all time, you know, the legend that is Anderson Silva. So, of course, this changes everything. I'm very excited. Anderson, I guess, can you tell us emotionally, psychologically, kind of what the last year has been like for you? A lot of, a lot of training, uh, a lot of love from my friends and family, and, uh, and I'm just excited to come back and be able to do something I love. You've been respectful and always calling him the greatest of all time, but I think you've been willing to point out his flaws as well. Uh, well, well, well it's, it's funny you use the word point, because uh, he can't point to anything by the sounds of it. Um, listen, Anderson's a great fighter, he's achieved many, many things, but the fact of the matter is he tested positive for, for performance enhancing drugs in his last fight. Apparently that was the first time he's been tested. Uh, that's what he said, his words, not mine. A cynic would lead me to lead one to believe that he was using his whole career. So, you know, shame on him. You know, how he calls himself a martial artist and, and takes performance enhancing drugs is beyond me. It really is. Yeah, you know, the past is the past. I don't want to get in too much into that, but at the end of the day, I wanted everybody to know that I'm not a liar. And unfortunately, um, you know, it, it didn't come off that way, but I, I always told the truth. I've never used uh, any sort of uh, PED uh, of any sort. And, uh, and I'm excited to get back in there and fight, and who knows, even fight for a title. Was there any part of you that thought, I'm not taking this fight, this guy doesn't deserve this opportunity, this, this fight, you know, because he is a cheater? Well, there, there was a part of me that did feel like that, but at the end of the day, uh, this is a bucket list fight for me. It's a fight that I always wanted. It's a fight that uh, I lobbied for for a long time. Of course, it's bittersweet. He's no longer the champion, but still, it's a nice name to have on my resume. You know, I can tell the kids I fought Anderson Silva, and... Uh, yeah, and, and the UK want to see that, you know, the UK want these big names though, so come on, let's do this. So obviously Michael Bisping has gone out of his way to label Anderson a cheater and to say he's a cheater, does, does it bother him and is it getting to him when he, when he sees Michael saying these things? Come on people, I've been in this sport for a long time and people have said a lot of things, but once the octagon door closes, it always changes.